Hi guys, welcome to your warm up. My name's Martin. Okay, so this five minutes, we're just gonna prepare your body for the workouts that you're going to do in next. So let's just start with a little tap in front with your toes on the right and the left. So just pulling back with the arms. Okay, so just thinking about keeping good form, keep good posture, keep those abdominals gently drawn in. Okay, so just do another eight more taps in front. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, march on the spot and roll your shoulders back and down. That's it, good, so keep that going. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now roll them forwards. That's it, good, now squeeze those chest muscles and then open them up and then squeeze your shoulder blades and then open them up. Okay, let's do that eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tap out to the side with your right leg then your left. Side to side. Okay, push the arms forwards and back. That's it, it's like a little half jack. Keep the core strong. Let's add an arm circle at the same time. Same arm, same leg. Just circling it around. So again, a bigger range of movement through the joints. Getting them warmed up, prepared for what lies ahead. Give me another eight more. Nice and big. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. A little march on the spot again. We're going to take it into some squats now. Start mobilizing your hips through your knees, pushing the hips back and let your arms go forwards. So from the side, you keep a neutral spine. Push the tailbone back, keeping the knees behind your toes. Okay, and keep the toes pointing forwards at the same time. Let's just do another eight more. Seven, six, and just let your arms go forwards and back. Another four, and three, and two, and one. Okay, side bends, mobilizing the spine. Just take a little lean to the side and center. Side and center. Keep the abdominals gently drawn in to help support the back. Excellent, and we can take an arm up and reach over the top. Reach it over. How are we doing? So just stretch. That's it, good. Let's do another six more. Five, four, three, two more. One more. Okay, bring the fingertips to the temples. We're gonna carry on, we're gonna do another eight with the fingertips to the temples. Seven. Six, five, four more. Another three, two, and one. Take the arms in front, a little rotation. Pull back with one arm, and then center. Then the other, and center. So rotating the spine, keeping your hips forward. Think about the top of the head being pulled up to the ceiling. So it goes, you're just mobilizing the spine. Excellent. And again, let's do another four more to pull that arm back. And three, two more. Okay, let's start to get the heart rate up a little bit more. We're going back to the side taps. Add some arms. So half jacks, raise your arms up to the side, about shoulder height to start with. Excellent, keep that going. Good, keep strong center. Let's do another eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now tapping it back with the toes, push. Set, excellent. Fantastic, keep that going. Let's do another eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna hold your right leg back. And just take a stretch in front there. Fantastic, just keep holding it. So from the side, lean forwards, push your heel into the floor. Lift up the back heel, drop down. Hold that there and take the hands behind the back. Just hold these for about eight to 10 seconds. Fantastic, so you're feeling that stretch on your hip flexor. Grab hold of your foot to a quad stretch. Push forwards with the hip. And just hold it there. Soften the leg that you're standing on and then swing that leg forwards and send your bottom back. Chest up, shoulders back. Keep the spine nice and flat there. And then lift the tailbone up so you feel the stretch up the back of the leg. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Take your Put the leg behind, reach it forwards, push the heel into the floor. Check that your back toe points forwards and feel that stretch down the calf. And then lift up and tuck under, hip flexor stretch. Set the arms behind the back again, open through the chest and just lower it down and 
hold it there. Again, just about eight seconds will do. Grab hold of your foot, find your balance. Leg is standing on slightly bent. Hold on something if you need to, if you struggle with your balance. And then we're just gonna swing that leg forwards, chest up, hand on the bent leg, shoulders back, tailbone lifts up, feeling that stretch in the back of your thigh. And then bring it back to center, take a deep breath in. I hope you enjoyed that warm up. It's time to go on to your next program. Well done.